primera noche que te vi Yo sabía que eras para mí Jamás otro The opening scene was super dynamic and super fun. Um, it was a great way to start it. Definitely had a, a lot of energy to it. And I loved seeing the women getting ready. And in and that, you know, getting ready sequence in and of itself was sort of a dance for them. And I, I loved that aspect as well. Um, the fact that every, uh, every stage of this love affair, this love relationship was portrayed with a different dance was super, super cool. Um, I loved how each dance was different and portrayed different emotions. Um, you can really, really feel that coming off of the dancers and the actors and actresses. Um, the, there was some awesome drone overhead shots of the city and the dance with the yellow dress. So that was really cool to watch. Um, and the camera did some interesting flips and movements with the action uh, that kept it dynamic and kept that energy to it. I am intrigued by the production design choice. It grabs and entices my attention. The music just draws you in and this actor is so alluring. And I don't know, something about that white leather jacket with roses printed on it and roses, you know, obviously come into play um, in other elements and, it's, you, you get to see these two characters, uh, you know, exist in this bubble of love and the lighting even reflects that, right? It's dim, moody, romantic lighting, or it's shining like this peak, pink ethereal neon lighting, which is also, you know, just a, you know, a warm, fuzzy feeling for you. And so it's, um, it's a beautiful piece to be able to see this being expressed in movement and sound and a, a visual experience, which is what film is intended to be. In its choreography, in its directing, in the performer's ability to convey such beautiful, earnest passion without words. There's no dialogue really necessary here, though a story is very much still being told. Um, I think that's fairly clear. And each um, performance number really stands on its own in style, in execution, and it's just something really to be applauded, as it is a love letter not only to dance, but to the atmosphere itself of falling in love. I really like the style of this film, told through action and beautiful dance numbers and people celebrating and having fun. But you see, there's this romantic relationship going on that goes bad. I like how the camera followed the stranger, the fellow that goes to ask the young woman to dance once his own date leaves. That was interesting. The uh, relationship is shown by on their present date, and I think the really she romanticizes the relationship by um, pairing them up and showing them in a dance number uh, interspliced with the scenes of the show. And when she discovers he's a philanderer, uh, her dance on the rooftop is quite triumphant, I thought, and I feel like she was working him out of her system. I love the colors, and it was beautiful music and beautiful dancing, and thought it was very artistic. I love that it was salsa and just really great choreography with the performances. Um, really nice camera work and drone shots. I like those a lot. Very nice wardrobe. Um, I liked the shot of the corset being tightened. This is just a really cool close-up shot of that. Um, and, you know, her freeing herself of her clothing at the end, I guess it was just her feeling the need to be free. I'm not really sure the meaning of some of it, but I just really loved being taken on the journey. I do love that it was mostly dance. That was very inventive to show different formats of dance to express emotion beautiful dances with gorgeous costumes they um those captured the attention i was very good at at creating an atmosphere and i think the visuals 
really helped it unfold as a, a video music album.